Welcome to number seven, Farrier's Court in Wasperton. This delightful mid-muse barn conversion is located on this stunning private development in the heart of the village and has internal accommodation briefly comprising large entrance hallway, guest WC, living room, formal dining room and kitchen breakfast room. To the first floor are three generous double bedrooms, all of which benefit from ensuite facilities. Outside, we have driveway parking for two cars, a carport and single garage. Whilst to the rear of the property is a private westerly facing enclosed courtyard garden. Let me show you inside. So starting with this stunning reception entrance hallway, which leads through, as you can see, to the kitchen breakfast room straight in front of me, the living room off to my right, has stairs rising to the first floor landing and then further to the right at the front of the property is the formal dining room. We're going back to the beginning. Next to the front door here we have guest WC and that also has low level WC with fancy unit mounted wash hand basin and under counter storage. We'll come back into the entrance hall and we'll head through into this absolutely beautiful fitted kitchen comprising a range of shaker style wall and base mounted units with contrasting quartz work surfaces over and a range of integrated appliances, including four ring gas hob, full size integrated dishwasher. Off to my right, we have combination microwave oven and further electric double oven. It's also an integrated fridge freezer on the right hand side there as well. As you can see, to the rear of the kitchen, we have ample space for informal dining, as well as double glazed windows and doors, giving views and direct access onto that stunning westerly facing courtyard rear garden. I'll just show you this from a different perspective. You can see finished to an absolutely stunning, stunning level. Right, heading back into the entrance hallway. We'll go through into the living room. And this measures approximately 20 foot by 13 foot, so it's a good size living room. Centrally mounted feature fireplace with log burning stove. As you can see, double glazed windows and French doors giving views and direct access onto that stunning garden again. Exposed ceiling timbers. And also the living room benefits from a large built-in storage cupboard. And just head to the other end and I can show you from a different perspective again. There we have it, another beautiful room. And this, of course, is not the end of the ground floor. We also have this adaptable dining room. Currently empty, but this has comfortably taken dining furniture for eight people quite easily before. Good size room, measuring somewhere in the region of 13 foot square, with large, picture window and again French doors to the front elevation. This also benefits from large built-in storage cupboard. Not sure if it's going to translate onto the video but this house is absolutely beautifully presented. Right, let's head up to the first floor. So on the first floor, we have three double bedrooms, all of which benefit from ensuite facilities. Nice size landing off on the right hand side. That doorway you see there leads to the airing cupboard, which houses the central heating boiler. And we'll start with bedroom one. 
as I said, all of the bedrooms are good doubles. This is certainly no exception. The benefit of this room, of course, is the outstanding views. Here we overlook not only that beautiful garden, but also the neighbouring farmland. And at the bottom left hand side of the garden there you can see the gateway that actually leads through to the single garage and carport area as well as your parking. So spinning round in here we have double fronted and single fronted built in storage wardrobes and further timber door leading through to the master ensuite bathroom finished to an exacting standard with freestanding double-ended bath, low-level dual flush WC, and pedestal wash hand basin with crown fittings. Topped off with ceramic tine tube floor and all splashback areas, wall mounted vanity mirror, ceiling mounted lighting, central heated radiator, and ceiling mounted extractor fan. Heading back onto the landing now, we'll go to bedroom two. Another large double bedroom, this time front facing. Again, benefiting from built-in wardrobes. This time we have two double fronted built-in wardrobes for this room. And that double glazed windows to the front elevation there. Just close these doors and we can open up into this absolutely beautiful ensuite shower room. So as a guest suite, this really is rather special. Again, low level WC with dual flush, uh, dual flush, countertop mounted wash hand basin and walk-in shower with fixed glass screen. Ceramic tiling to floor and all splashback areas. And we have inset ceiling mounted down lighters and a Velux style window to the front elevation. As you can see, it's a waterfall style, mains fed shower there. Right, let me show you into bedroom three. Third bedroom currently being utilized as a home study, but is in excess of 10 foot square. We have two large Velux style rear facing windows, which again give outstanding views over the rear garden and the neighboring countryside. Look at that, just beautiful. <clears throat> also in here, a range of integrated storage furniture, including that large double fronted built-in wardrobe, further covered and full height storage wardrobe. Lastly, we have the third en suite, Another enclosed shower cubicle here, mains fed shower, low level WC, and just around the corner here, we have pedestal wash hand basin. Again, wall mounted vanity mirror, ceiling and wall mounted lighting, ceramic tiling to all walls and splashback areas, as well as the floor, ceiling mounted extractor fan as well. Right, just a quick recap for you. So to the first floor, we have three Spacious double bedrooms, three beautiful en suites, whilst the ground floor, living room, formal dining room, kitchen breakfast room, and guest WC. To the front, we have a lawn floor garden, whilst to the rear, we have this stunning westerly facing landscaped courtyard rear garden. Incredibly private here, absolutely no one behind you at all. And this benefits from exterior lighting as well as outside tap and has external access from the living room and the kitchen breakfast room. As you can see, you've got lots of space for outside dining. Well stocked plant and shrub borders, which are just gonna start coming into their own now as well. And it's fenced and close to two sides with six foot 
brick wall to the rear. As I said inside, the gateway at the lower left hand side of the garden that you can see there leads through to the garage, carport and parking area and this is private to this property. And that is lockable gated rear access to those. Let me just show you the rear elevation. Absolutely stunning property. So there we have it. Number seven, Farrier's Court in Wasperton. If you have any further questions relating to this or any of the properties on our books at Peter Clark, please do feel free to give me a call on 01926 429 400. My name's Matthew Corral. Thank you for watching.